What's up everybody and welcome to our C programming tutorial by Morex the coder and in this tutorial I uh, will be talking about pointers which is one of the most uh, important concepts in C uh, to learn uh, because they form part of uh, something that is very very important because uh, uh, this um, deals directly with um, uh your operating system whatever operating system that you have right um so basically um okay we're gonna talk about this just now let me not rush uh cool let's uh discuss uh the pointer and what is a pointer right i was so excited that i wanted to start describing what's on this slide on the previous oh, introduction slide but yeah cool um a pointer right a pointer is um is a variable that stores memory address right it stores memory address so um what i wanted to mention previously is that uh, with the pointer right you can actually point to the memory address of a file that is stored in that operating system by pointing to that memory address here are things that you can do you can manipulate the data stored in that if it's a file you can manipulate the data stored in that file right because you're pointing to that um uh, file and then you can get the contents of that file right using this pointer in your program right so um this is going to be one of the most uh fundamental things as next we're going to be dealing with uh, a bit of one of the application of it where we get to um read uh contents of a file right and then write contents of a file but pointing to a file that is in memory if it is not in memory we're going to create a file and wherever the file gets stored we're going to get the memory or we're going to get a copy of that memory address and uh point to it with our pointer right um cool so how do we declare a pointer right um to declare a pointer uh you use the format right you're going to start with the data type so basically you need to know what data type uh you wanna um store uh in your pointer and then you're gonna have a variable name and then it's a value right so this is just a, an example of where uh we um, are dealing with uh, so basically we wanna point to the memory address of a variable so we we'll start with uh defining what type uh the variable is gonna have okay in terms of uh values what values is the variable is gonna store right so we specify the data type and provide the name of that variable and the value and then now this is how we're gonna point to the memory address of that variable we're gonna have the data type which is gonna be the same as the variables data type and then we have an asterisk and there are different ways of positioning the asterisk uh you can put it directly after uh specifying the type and then just type asterisk and then a space and then the pointer name or you can have a space asterisk then a pointer name or you can have it in between the data type and the pointer name so it, it depends on how how you want to use it but the compiler won't complain how you um or which way you use to define a pointer right and then you have a pointer name right and then you have an assignment operator and then you're going to have another operator which is a reference operator and then you have a variable name remember we said that we are pointing to a memory address right so in this case you're pointing to the memory address of the variable name meaning that um the reference uh, operator as uh, you might have figured by now is actually retaining the memory address of that variable name and we're going to discuss this when you get to um when you get to code itself uh and then you will see as to oh this is what's happening and this is how you are able to get the contents of a file or a variable using uh the pointer right and then this is going to become even much uh, awesome when we deal with files next week. Um, that's the syntax of uh, creating a pointer, right? Um, cool. 
So now uh, I want to discuss about uh, the asterisk operator uh, because this uh, gets to be confused. Um, it gets to be confused in a way that um, you see it in a pointer definition and then uh, you're going to see it in the uh, when you are getting the file uh, contents or when you're getting the value of um, whatever value that uh, you're pointing uh, the memory in which you're pointing. So basically you're getting a value that is stored inside that memory address, right? So it is used for creating a pointer. Right, and then you saw the format as to how you use it when you're creating a pointer, right? Upon pointer definition, uh, you get to um, use it, right? To specify that this is a pointer. After that, where you use it in your program, it's going to be used to get the value stored in the memory address. The pointer is pointing. I hope that makes sense sense and you won't get to be confused uh as we move further right uh last but not least uh we're gonna be talking about the reference operator or the end not so end but whatever that sign is mostly in english we just use it as end uh but in coding it's something else right so it's a it's an epicent i think they call it epicent but uh its name is reference operator so basically what it does it returns the memory address of a variable or memory address of whatever that uh you want to point to if it's a variable but yeah basically it's a variable right yeah or an object uh because if you create an object uh same thing right it's going to be stored in a certain memory or to be having a certain memory address and then you just want to point to what that object is pointing and then you'll be able to do uh whatever you want to do with the pointer that you can do with the object right um and then you will get to see why we actually use pointers as, as we move further for now i've mentioned the most important part of it of a giving us the ability to manipulate files that are already stored in memory on our operating system it doesn't matter which system are using as long as you are on a system or on a computer your, your files are stored in memory. They have a unique memory address, right? And one thing that you're going to see is uh, the type of uh, the memory address that you're getting, right? You're going to get a weird number, which starts with an O and X, 0X or OX. Okay, I forgot. But it starts with an O. Uh, yeah, it's 0X, actually. Then... um. A certain number right so basically that's a hexadecimal um type so we have binary hexadecimal octal decimal so we've dealt with decimals and the format specifier is d right for the new uh hexadecimal um type we'll be using a format specifier which is a p right and then you will see um so Let's uh, head over to our coding and yeah, our terminal is ready for us. Okay, DR, let's just create pointers. There we go. And then we change to pointers. Let me also do that for our execution because we have our code side and then we have our compilation or running our program that side. Uh, cool. So we're going to create Vim. Uh, pointers to see cool and then inside there we're going to include std io.h that's our add library then h int main uh, there we go cool so now uh we're going to create a pointer right but the first thing we want to do is, uh, in terms of uh, this application or this demonstration, we're going to point to a variable. I'm going to create um, a char or an int. Okay, let's create an int, basically a number, right? So we're going to create a number, int, and then we just call it number, and then we'll provide a value 50, right? That's that. Then uh, what we want to do next is we're going to create uh, the pointer. Or point point 
to the um memory ah that's memory right memory hey okay address of uh, the number of uh, variable cool then um what we're gonna do is that um to create the pointer i mentioned you're gonna start with the data type which is the same as that data type right and then we're gonna have an asterisk you can have it there and then you have your pointer name or you can have a space in between or you can have it there let me just leave it this way uh but you choose how you wanna do it either way and then we're just gonna call it number ptr it's a number pointer right and then we're gonna use an ampersand sign and then the variable name which is number right that's me pointing to that variable and then now let's first uh display information using the variable cool so what i want to uh, do now is um so we're gonna uh point or we're gonna display um information of um so we're gonna display the the, the memory address or where the number variable has been uh, stored in memory right do that it's ampersand and we've seen this file before right and uh when we were getting the input so basically we were assigning um memory to that variable because we didn't uh declare it right so we didn't store anything so it was a variable created so basically we were pointing to that uh the, to that memory where we uh, where our variable has been stored at right that's why we were having this um ampersand sign because uh we did use this before and i didn't want to mention it that first because i wanted it to ring a bell that ah oh, so this is why we have this whenever we are getting the input because we are dealing with memory right you're specifying where the memory is so you don't want to be storing data in a wrong memory right you have to store data the proper data to the right memory and then um this is gonna be number right and uh what we're doing there is uh variable number address memory address there we go and we have that and then we're gonna print the value print f um that number there we go and then we're just gonna have d or i depends on what you choose and then we're gonna end line and then we're gonna have a number there and that's it so let's execute our program okay let me zoom out first there we go that's a problem right nice and clean and what we do there is g plus plus um pointers there we go i'm just gonna name this file more x there we go to execute there we go and then this is what you see this is zero x and then you have that number this is a hexadecimal you use p for that and this is the number right this is us using the variable SEDs. So basically, this is what we pointed to. We pointed to that memory, right? And then we're able to access whatever contents are there in that memory. If I have a folder and I have different files, if I point to that folder, right, that is stored in certain memory, will I be able to access all the files inside that folder or not? I'm going to leave that for you guys to think about uh, in whatever answer that you get to have um, 
we will get to talk about it or you will get to be answered as we go further into application of um these pointers all right or uh, this um memory uh topic um because um I want to get to understand that you will get to understand a lot of things because uh, mostly most of us will get to be using a computer but we don't really know much of what's happening under the hood and then some people get to ask okay myself I'm just that fascinated to know most of the stuff is true how does this work I mean when I look at a computer it's just like okay so basically this thing knows exactly what I want right just like you putting the input like from the input right and then you say this is what i want my program to do that's how they started the whole thing and then from there they had to figure out how do they send the input using the keyboard it's 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 fascinating and then when you get to learn about just the keyboard and button down no, let's not even go that far that's uh it depends on whether you want to be that interested or that fascinated about stuff or not uh for now uh let's finish up our topic uh, by using displaying info info uh, there we go info using a uh, pointer coolness right so print f there we go here's my end line End line, end line, end line. <laughs> I think that's enough. And then uh, pointer memory, memory being pointed, uh, pointer memory address. Um, so we we'll use a new specifier which is p and line and what are we going to use? So we have that, right? And then we have a star. That's just declaring um, a pointer, right? But our pointer is named number pointer. So I'm just going to use number PTR. And this gives you the address of the pointer. To get the value, uh, which is going to make sense in terms of what we did on the slides. Um... um when I discussed about the asterisk uh, operator that most people get to confuse it a lot. Uh, so we know the data type it's D. There we go. So we're going to use our pointer right PTR. That's our pointer, the memory address. But I want to get the value that is stored in that address. Right. And uh, there we go. If I execute this, then I have this, and then you will see that this is exactly the same as that. So that's basically what you're doing. You want to use a pointer that can point to the variable that you want. And then you get to see something else that uh, is going to make uh, a lot of sense um in case of you don't want to just limit it to just one variable right but then you want to be able to point to any variable and get the contents from that um variable right of any data type i uh, will get to talk about that in the future tutorials i do hope this was not really much of a complicated uh topic i know it gets complicated just make sure that you get to understand the basics because as we move further, things get to be a little bit more complicated. And the more complicated it gets, uh, the tough it gets, obviously. So it, it's going to keep getting tough and tough and tough. But if you really want to learn and if you need to truly learn, uh, you will be able to, to survive and to make it to the very end where you fully master C programming and get to be with the team that says that C is simple. I shall see you guys in the next tutorial.